a counterweight trebuchet, was the king of all siege engines. A catapult capable of smashing down castle walls from great distances. At Warwick Castle in England, they've built a replica, one of the largest in the world. Originating in 7th century China, by the 13th century, trebuchets had evolved into devastatingly powerful weapons. Such a simple design, but so effective. It has several key features. A pivoted arm with a weight at one end and a sling to hold the projectile at the other. To prime, the six-ton weight is raised using tread wheels. So this is one of the wheels, one of two that's attached to an axle, which would lift the counterweight, weighing six tons. It's based on muscle power alone. What's essential about launching a projectile as far as possible is making sure that this end of the arm is moving as fast as possible. So once that weight drops, it really sends this point of the arm moving at its highest velocity. This was done by positioning the pivot close to the counterweight and by launching the projectile from a sling. When released, the sling whips round, vastly increasing the launch speed. Trebuchets were carefully aimed, like modern guns. In order to weaken the castle walls or even breach them, you had to make sure that the projectiles hit the same spot every single time. For each projectile to follow the same trajectory, they all had to be the same weight and shape. To achieve this, masons used a gauge. Now, I'm going to load this projectile into the sling. Oh, this one must weigh about 25 kilograms, but some projectiles can get up to 150 kilograms. That's the weight of two men. Trebuchets were also used to throw burning tar, beehives, even dead bodies. Anything to cause maximum distress to the enemy. Did you hear that whoosh? It was the counterweight trebuchet's lethal combination of power and accuracy that made it the ultimate medieval siege weapon.